Eve return, y'all. Welcome to the Eve for Eternity show. I'm about to read you the White House document again. This time I'm going to be clearer. So let's get started. Let's scroll up. Obama administration record for American Indians and Alaska Natives. I believe that one day we're going to be able to look back on these years and say that this was all a great turning point. Sorry, I'm throwing some words there. This was a moment when we began to build a strong middle class in Indian country. The moment when businesses, large and small, began opening up in reservations. The moment when we stopped repeating the mistakes of the past and began building a better future together. One that honors the tr old traditions and welcomes every Native American to the American dream. President Barack Obama, December 2nd, 2011. So that's his quote. Supposedly he's doing good works for Native Americans, according to a friend of mine who gave me access to this document. But I read this document a little bit differently. And here's how. Since taking office, President Obama and his administration have made tremendous progress on ma the major issues of concern in, uh, to Indian country. Underlying this, underlying this process is President Obama's belief that tribal leaders must be part of the solution of, to the problems that have seat at, and have seat at the table. The President ha has hosted White House Tribal Nations conferences where tribal leaders have had discussions with the president and cabinet officials. Oh, one way to expand, to expand the new world order. Never think of that? Let's find out where I was. White House Tribal Nations Conferences, where tribal leaders have had discussions with the president and cabinet officials. In addition, the president signed a memorandum directing federal agencies to fully implement executive order on tribal consolation. You notice it said executive order on, not executive order for. You gotta watch how you read these documents, even if they're White House propaganda documents. I mean, this is the white, this is the total White House propaganda version of what they're doing. This is from whitehouse.gov. Let's keep going. These actions have led to greater tribal consolation and feedback, so they say, which has helped shape the administration's policy, priority, policy priorities for American Indians and Alaska Natives. I wonder what their pro policy priorities really are. <laughs> really, I do. These include improving the quality of care offered by the Indian Health Service, promoting administration's record and support for American Indians, for Native Americans includes. Oh wait, it gets better guys. It gets better. For those of you that really understand what the hell this is saying, this is just a White House propaganda version, but you can really get the gist of what they're saying. Strengthening government to government relationship. Wow! The Native American government and the U.S. government is going to strengthen their relationship. In 2009, President Obama signed a memorandum to signal a new era of government to government relationship with Indian tribes. The president has directed uh, every agency to develop detailed, every agency, directed every agency to develop detailed plans to fully implement Executive Order 13175. That sort of kind of, kind of reminds me of something. Lord Sidious, Execute Order 66. Execute Order 66. It will be done, my lord. That's what... The, the president implemented or Executive Order... 13175. I'll always take Order 66 from freaking. What was that? Revenge of the Sith? I'll always think of that when I see that. I hope that doesn't happen to the Indians. I really don't. I, I don't want that to happen to them. But Executive Order 13175, that's like a soft way of saying Lord Sidious's quote when he killed off all the Jedi. I hope to God that doesn't happen to our Native American brothers. I really hope that doesn't happen. Constitution in coordination with tribal governments. Federal agencies have submitted and required plans and process report, progress reports and constitutions 
are at historic levels. In addition, the president has hosted three White House Tribal Nations conferences, inviting tri tribal leaders from each of the 565 federally recognized tribes to meet with the cabinet secretaries and senior administration officials. Consistent with the administration's goal to strengthen and the government-to-government -government relationship, yeah, New World Order, in December 2011, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, why am I not surprised, announced support for amending federal law to allow federally recognized Indian tribes to make emergency disaster declaration requests directly to the president. Oh, man. They're taking over the Indians. They're really taking them over now. This is bad. This is fucking tyranny. Oh, what do you hear this one? This one, this one will really get your shits kicking. I had to re redo this document and redo this video because the last time I did the video, it was I did it in the dark and it was and letters looked in fine print, so I couldn't really read them. So now I have my light on and now I'm able to see the computer better. Improving health care. President Obama signed into law the Affordable Care Act which is improving the quality of health care and, and in the making of it accessible and affordable for all Americans. No, it's not. Ask anyone who has to go to the VA. <laughs> I know a few of those, including Native Americans. Probably not getting any more help than the next soldier. The law permanently authorized the Indian Health Care Improvement Act, the cornerstone le legal authority for the provision of health care to American Indians and the Alaska Natives. The act ensures new and expanded programs and services available to those who use the Indian Health Care Service, which includes approximately 2 million American Indians and, Native, and, and Alaskan tri Natives. Sorry, Alaskan Natives. I'm sorry I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. I'm just flustered by what I'm reading. I'm really disturbed by this. American Indians and Alaska Natives are also in, in, el eligible eligible for tax credits and co-sharing assistance through affordable insurance exchanges. In addition, First Lady Michelle Obama launched Let's Move Indian Country, which brings together federal agencies, local communities, nonprofits, corporate partners, and tribes to end the epidemic of childhood obesity in Indian Country within a generation by creating healthy start on lives for children, ensuring families to have access to healthy, affordable, traditional foods, and increasing opportunities like physical activity. She's forcing their GMO, she, she's forcing GMO foods on them now too! Oh god, it gets, it gets worse! Let's read down further. I'm just going to read this last bit. Promoting sustainable economic development in Indian country. Now this is total propaganda what I'm about to read here. They are not doing any of that. I guarantee if you visit a tribe after I read this, you ain't gonna see none of that. If you see that, correct me. I'll publicly apologize to the president. President Obama has taken significant steps to promote the economic well-being of Native Americans. Though through re the Recovery Act, President Obama provided more than three billion dollars to help tribal communities renovate schools and reservations spur job creation in tribal econ economies, improve housing and energy efficiency. And the support of health facilities are policing and policing services. Oh, policing services. Yeah, we're going to have the NSA move in. They'll be your next door native. They'll be your next door neighbor, Native America. I'm sorry, I screwed up on that speech too, but I, every time I look at this, I feel bad for the Native Americans because they've had it so hard for so long. And I have some little bit of Native American blood in me. So when I turn on the Stalter program and I see the Native Americans having it hard, the government's not going to do nothing but imprison them like they did us. With their policies, with their laws, and the tribal leaders ain't doing nothing for them. The administration may... Oh, where did I lose? I lost my spot. Recognizing that Indian country faces unique challenges, yeah, like overtake of the NWO, when it comes to sustainable economic development, the White House Rural 
Council is working across federal agencies to address these challenges and promote economic prosperity and quality of life in Indian country and across the rural area of America. The administration has made import, important investments and and f f oh, fuck it, man. I, I can't read no more. This is hurting me. Let's see who this is from. Governor Wildstar, you just you just came in on an e-wave video, and I'm redoing the the document. Oh, well, actually, it's a different number. I thought it was Governor Wildstar. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna have to put this on hold. I got a really important phone call.